Okay, so what's up guys? It's Sarah Ray and I wanted to talk to you guys about ostomies and I felt it was a good timing to. I had a doctor's appointment today and found out that I'm actually going to have my ileostomy a lot longer than I expected, than any of us really expected. So I felt it was appropriate to discuss it. Sometimes it can be a little difficult when reading about it and you hear terms like broke or busted and it's hard to explain those things so I figured maybe with my supplies showing you guys my supplies and things like that that maybe I could help make that type of stuff a little more understandable and I don't know so let's give it a try. What is an ostomy? There's a few types of ostomies out there. There's a urostomy, an ileostomy, and a colostomy. The urostomies I'm not very good with. I, I don't know much about them. So I'm not going to discuss it. But a colostomy and an ileostomy, I know a few things about it. A colostomy is when they take your large intestine, your colon, and surgically bring it to your abdomen. And what it's called is a stoma. That's your intestine when it's brought out. That's what they call it. And then you put a bag over it and you pretty much, that's how you go to the bathroom. I'm trying to make this like simple. So please don't get offended. I have an ileostomy, which is pretty much the same concept that I just described, but it's with your, your small intestine is brought to your abdomen surgically. So let's show you some supplies, right? This is my cool little bag that is, I keep my stuff in. I take it everywhere. And um, yeah, so that's this thing. Take it everywhere just in case if uh, my bag breaks, which we'll get to in a second. So this is what you put around your stoma, the intestine that's being shown outside your body. I would show you mine, but it's not very presentable. But so it gives you measurements and you can measure your stoma with these handy tools. There's uh, other sizes than these. These are just the one I use is on this one. But you cut it and you put it on your stoma on your skin. Then you take the bag and you hook it up. There's clips And then it comes with a little clip, so your stool, your poop, doesn't go everywhere. So that's pretty much what you would see on a person with an ostomy. So when it breaks, what's pretty much happening is this, this part, the phalange that's sticking to your skin, becomes worn out and the stool comes underneath and it comes all the way out and this is no longer sticking to your skin it, it broke it busted you can smell it you can see it you can it's everywhere I've had that happen a few times when I'm sleeping it's not that fun so that's what that is pretty much implying. It's still, it's still kind of hard to explain exactly what busted is, but hopefully that helps a little bit on what it is. It's pretty much this is no longer sticking to your skin and your poops everywhere. Not all the time, but then I, I use a stoma powder to help with redness around your stoma because when 
stool and stuff gets on your skin, the gastric juices and, and all that good stuff is eating away at your skin. It can become really raw. So it's good to have something to go over it, especially if you don't want it to hurt really bad. So then I use a skin prep to help with the flange, which is this part, the flange, to stick to my skin a little better. So that's what my supplies look like, and hopefully that helps. But I also get these little bags. So if I ever have to change my ostomy in public or at somebody's house, I can put them in here and it's not see-through so it's kind of more private and I think it's, it's, it's pretty cool to have. It helps with self-esteem and stuff because people aren't, they don't know what's in the bag. It's a present. I went to the doctor's today like I said before and I saw a little basket for ostomy covers and I didn't know what it was. Obviously, it's an ostomy cover. I get that, but I wanted to see it. I've never seen really one before. And this is what I got. It was pretty cool. A person that goes to the same doctor as I do made these. And so pretty much it goes, your bag goes in here and it covers your ostomy. So if you're like wearing a bathing suit or or whatever, you can be out in public and you know, this is what people will see. They won't see your bag, and it's pretty cool. So, and I, I definitely wanted to show you guys this. I think it's cool. So that's it. That's what I have for you guys today. For ostomy. If you have any questions, below. Or Facebook, you guys, like I said, you know what to do. Any questions you have. Um... Everybody's different. If you are watching this and you have an ostomy, uh, supplies is going to be different for you and me. Our bodies are different. So you got to make sure you find the supplies, the company that works best for your body, for your stoma, for your, your problem, if that's what you would like to call it. And, yeah. Find, find what suits best for you. So, alright. Thanks for, thanks for watching. I will link below my blog I wrote on ostomies and, yeah. Thanks for watching.